So from James O'Neill's point of view, he would have seen the headlights come up out of the dip as it approached the Orford Forest Road level crossing. It is about here on the second picnic train that Frank Mather screwed down the tender's handbrake. But it wasn't until they got to our location here after cutting the locomotive air brake and the tender air brake. And whistled for down brakes. van of the second picnic train went by, James O'Neill sung out at the person he saw on, saw on the guards van's platform. That was James Burroughs. It isn't recorded what he said, doesn't much matter. It was too late for the guards to do anything anyway and they had in fact already screwed down the brake. Also it's worth noting that neither Burroughs or Fitzpatrick remembered hearing the whistling for signal.